Hi, my name is Larry Jordan and welcome to the Digital Production Buzz. We cover everything about digital video from production to editing to output because what you don't know can cost you a lot of time and sometimes a lot of money. I'd like to talk a little bit about how to pick a microphone. Now there are five basic categories of microphones. There's the camera mic, there's a lavalier mic, there's a hand mic, there's a short shotgun, and there's a long shotgun. Let's talk about the camera mic first. If I ever catch you using the camera mic in one of your productions, I am going to yell at you so much. The camera mic isn't designed for high quality. It's designed to pick up ambience, whether that's air conditioners or refrigerators or chair squeaking or people talking in the background. It's all the noise that you don't want in your production. And the things that you do want, the people that are talking, are so far away from the camera you can't hear their voice clearly. There's no quality here. Now, color me undecided if you want, but the camera mic is a mistake. It's there as a backup, but never as a first choice. So, so avoid using it. Second is a lavalier. A lavalier is a microphone that clips onto the clothing. I'm wearing one now for the recording that I'm doing. And there's, there's dozens and dozens of different lavalier mics. In fact, in the premium edition of this podcast, I'll give you some brand names to consider of lavaliers that are, are worth using. There's a really excellent article on picking a good lavalier mic that was written by Dan Brockett that's posted on KenStone.net. Goes for dozens of pages analyzing with sound samples all the different lavalier mics you can use. The benefit to a lavalier mic is that it's close to the talent, it picks up nice tight sound, it tends to reject ambient noise, that is to say noise outside in the room. But the disadvantage is it's visible. Now you can, in fact, hide it inside clothing, but then it starts to pick up clothing rustling. So there's some trade-offs here. If you don't mind seeing the mic, a lavalier is a really good choice, but it's not always the best choice. I'll give you another one a little bit later. Another kind of microphone worth using is called a hand mic. You see singers use them all the time. Really good for vocals because a singer has to hold on to something, they're nervous. And so a hand mic is a good choice. You use hand mics when you want really good noise rejection, you want really tight sound, and you don't mind seeing the mic. Now a hand mic is a perfect thing to use in a music video, but if you're doing a Renaissance drama of a Shakespearean play, hand mics didn't exist back then, you don't have the option of using a hand mic. So we go to the next option. This is called a short shotgun. This is a microphone about a half inch in diameter. It's about six to seven inches long. And you point it like you point a pistol. It's got really, really good sound pickup on a narrow range of about five or six degrees. So it picks up exactly where it's pointing and it rejects the sound of where it's not pointing. These are excellent mics to use when you've got someone that can run the mic and point at a talent. Say you get about two feet away and you point directly at the person speaking and all the ambient noise fades away. Really good bass response. You'll get better bass response from a short shotgun than you will from a lavalier mic. The disadvantage to it is you've got to have somebody running the microphone. On professional productions, they'll work with a different kind of microphone called a shotgun or a long shotgun or a boom mic. These are mics that are almost two feet long, also a half inch in diameter. And they'll pick up sound in about a one to two degree range, really, really narrow pickup pattern, which allows you to precisely target exactly the person talking and ignore all the rest of the noise around it. This is good in a noisy environment like a, a stage or some other place where you want to make sure you don't hear people rustling or camera movement and that sort of thing, but it really requires an experienced operator to run. A short shotgun can be run by somebody that's just wearing headsets and they can hear how they're pointing it, but a long shotgun needs somebody that's, that's run mics before so they know exactly how to toggle it as you go between one speaker and the next. If you don't mind seeing the mic, hand mic, tight, tight sound, really good bass response, excellent for music and, and interviews. Also good noise rejection. If you want to minimize the mic, a lavalier, not as good a bass response, clothing rustle. You want to avoid clothing rustle, a short shotgun. Many interviews, in fact, are shot with two microphones, a lavalier pinned to talent and a short shotgun. That way, if, if they hammer the microphone or, or pop a necklace against it, you can cut to the short shotgun and then come back again. Lots of different things to consider as you're choosing a mic. And in fact, I'll have even more specifications for you in the premium edition of this podcast. You can buy the premium edition by clicking on the red Buy Premium Edition at the bottom of this window. Or you can get more information by going to our website. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks so much for watching the Digital Production Buzz.